this Germany is weird because it's like it's basically the center of Europe. Um, when the European Union was being formed, they were really afraid, and by they I mean the French were really afraid that the European Union would just be Germany, and it basically is. They failed. Um, Germany is the economic heart of Europe once again. And so when things happen in, in Germany, uh, it kind of piques interest, at least for me. I never care what happens in France, though. Um, I have, I, it's, it's so weird. I've played so many, like, historical, hist like, history-based games, and I've never had any interest in anything in France ever for any reason. I just can't, I can't force myself to give a fuck about France. I don't know why. Um, but the Green Party is a significant party in Germany. They they have a parliamentary system, which means that they have probably about f once like five or six parties that get like above one percent of the vote and occupy more than one chair. And in order to get a majority, in order to accomplish anything, they have to form these coalitions. Um, I I I think I like the parliamentary system more than the the U.S. first past the post one two party system. Um, but people basically, in order for a government to form, you have to have two parties anyways. You have like the coalition, and then you have the opposition coalition, and it effectively is the blue and, and red. And it's not too big of a difference. At the end of the day, in order to pass laws, you need fifty percent of the vote in the in the parliament. But things do shake up a little bit more often in parliamentary governments, I think. Though it's always, I've always wondered if the parliamentary system has more shakeups because they're only in countries that are like smaller than the U.S. It kind of feels like if the U.S. had a parliamentary system where we had like six or seven different parties, it would still be like deadlocked and gay and retarded with no real choice anyways, just because the U.S. is the U.S. And it's like the hub of every gay op in the entire world making the worst country ever made. It's kind of how it feels. But, um... The Green Party resigned, and it's kind of interesting because right now in Germany they're they're freaking the fuck out because there is a mildly conservative party called Alternative for Deutschland, which is, um, it, it's like a party of retards, but they're anti-immigrant, and this is becoming increasingly popular in Germany, which of course is leading to mass hysteria, people freaking out about the, the Fourth Reich, it's coming. Uh, the, the federal government is considering banning the AFD for being neo-Nazis and unconstitutional. Uh, literally, they're just like economic conservatives that are basically like, um, how about fewer immigrants? Not even no immigrants. How about fewer and from more culturally similar countries? And that literally has caused people to freak out and think that at any day there's going to be swastikas over the, the parliament, the uh, the... Train stations are going to have, like, portraits of, of neo-Hitler hung up in high places, like, massive banners. And it's like, it's, I don't know why the Germans are like this. They're hysterical, though. Anyways, um, the Greens have lost. And the Greens were the party for ecology issues. Now, Germany is probably the leader in Europe in regards to renewable energy, excluding nuclear, which, for whatever reason, they have a, a morbid fear of, I guess, because nuclear sounds scary. But... Um, the Green Party has usually been successful because of the ecological stuff, but they, they've they had a, a schism, and it's been brought on because of the AFD. The AFD won for the first time ever um, state-level elections. So for the first time ever, there are like governors in the, the various states of Germany that are AFD. And this is so scary. I mean, it's literally like, imagine if Alabama elected, like, a Klansman, and then they put the swastika in the uh, the flag again. Like, that's that's basically what's happened. So now the, the opposition to the AFD, the Greens are, like, shitting themselves. The entire, um, uh, like, senior board has resigned. And then additionally, in, in regards to that, the... Uh, the youth group for the party has also resigned, but for different reasons. The green, the old guys at the party resigned because they lost. And they're like, we have fucked up so bad that we're seeing the evil AFD take, take power in these states. And then the youth are like, you guys aren't progressive enough. You guys aren't asking, because the, the, other, the other parties in, in Germany are like, okay, well, the AFD is winning. 
and they're basically a group of retards that just believe in fewer immigration. Uh, how about we also just cool down on the immigrants? Instead of two million a year, we'll do one million a year or something. And that's become the position of all the other parties. And the the Greens are the only ones where it's like, okay, how about fewer immigrants then? We'll just focus on the ecological shit that we actually care about. And then the kids are like, no, man, we need more trannies. We need more uh, Muslims. Uh, we need more immigrants. That's because otherwise we're racist. And that's destroyed the party. And that's why I kind of like the parliamentary system. Because it's like, oh, look, a party, a major political party in a major European country has effectively imploded. And the last time that that happened in the U.S., was, oh God, was it the fucking Whigs? I think it was, we had the, the Demo before we had the Republican Party, I want to say that we had the Whigs versus the Democrat Republican Party. That's what it was called. It was a hyphenated name, like Democratic Republicans. And then um, the Whigs imploded or something. It, it, it's, it was like Civil War era is the last time that the U.S. had an actual political party change up. And then we had one independent candidate challenge a incumbent president i want to say when reagan got elected and that was such a disaster that anybody who votes third party in the u.s now is basically considered like a, a, a guilty of treason because you're only sabotaging the candidate that you're more aligned with so it's it's almost a, a faux pas now to run third party you're just an idiot and that's jeopardizing the actual candidate that can win um Yeah, Ross Perot, that's it. Yeah, anyways, I don't know. I don't want to ramble too much about politics, but you know how I, I pay attention, chat. You know how I am. And yeah, it is, I mean, it is, like, in Germany in particular, the the most sensitive thing that they are, that they have in their, their culture, is anti-Semitism. You're not allowed to say anything about Jews to the point where there was a, a phase that Europe went through where they all wanted to ban circumcision because it's a horrific practice that mutilates a child for no fucking reason. And um, when they threatened to do that, and they wanted to, they would have had the votes to pass it. Uh, the Jews rose TF up, and Jeremy was like, they like rolled their eyes, put a put finger guns to their head, pulled the trigger, like okay, whatever, penis mutilation if you want it. Um, so I bring that up because a lot of the immigrants are Muslim, and of course they hate Jews more than life itself. So they uh, there is an increase of like anti-Semitic hate crime throughout Germany. And, of course, this is always written in such a way that you would assume that it's like a neo-Nazi ADF or AFD thing. It gets blamed on the Germans, though, because, of course, it does. Uh, such is life in, in Europe. What, a, what an enlightened place. We can learn a lot from them. <laughs> we can learn so much. We can shut down our nuclear power plants and import a bunch of Muslims right into New York City, into the heart of New York City, into Manhattan. I think every bank needs a bunker for specifically housing Muslim migrants. <gasps> Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.